G'day guys, today we're going to be making a Digimon ACOM device, which is a handy little device which will let us connect our Digimon 20th Anniversary Edition to a Windows computer or an Android phone for battling and unlocking various Digimon. To do this, all we'll need is an Arduino Nano, a 3.9K resistor, and a 5.6K resistor. I only had a 5.7K resistor on hand, but that should work, since the resistors are just going to be used as a voltage divider. I will be soldering today, but you could probably get away with just wrapping the resistor leads around the terminals. Soldering is obviously recommended. Let's get into it. The circuit itself is very simple. Our 3.9K resistor will go between A2 and A3, and our 5.7K resistor will be going between A3 and ground. We'll then connect our probes to ground and A3. We're just going to be tinning our resistor leads first. These are some old resistors from my parts bin, and they're a little bit uh, oxidized. Should be fine. I'm also using some really low quality lead free solder, which definitely isn't helping. I can't find my uh, good 6040 stuff, so let's use this for now. That should do it. I will also apply some fresh solder to pins A2, A3 and ground. I could obviously solder to the pins underneath, but I don't want to get them dirty. And they're also pretty oxidized, so I'll just solder to the top. A2, A3, and ground. And then I'll just solder the 3.9K resistor between A2 and A3. Again, I could trim the legs, but this isn't going to be used very often, if, if um, at all, after this video. So I'm just going to solder it on top. Nice and easy. Should be good enough. The next one's a bit trickier. Our 5.7K. Again, the guide does recommend 5.6, but all I had is 5.7. And since it is just a simple voltage divider, it should be pretty close. I'll do ground. Now I might have to trim that resistor, it's a little bit oxidized. I will just retin it. That'll do. Try again on, get the solder off, try again on ground. Nice, ground's on there. Not great, but good enough. We'll do the same with A3. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. I will try and make up some probe leads so I can just uh, put it over the mail terminals so I can connect to the Digimon device. I will just be chopping up my female pin header, single row. Uh, I'll pull out a pin first. So pull out the pin next to it, nice and easy, now there's a hole there, and then with my flush cutters I'm just going to chop along the line, and now I have a single pin, I will just, uh, it's a bit hard to see, it's a bit blurry, I will neaten it up and solder it to some wires. Once again just tinning the end. It's a pretty bad job but it'll do. That'll do that. You don't want to overheat these uh, too much because the pin will just fall out and then you'll have to start again with the with a new pin header. As for wire, I just found some uh, black and red offcuts. I was tinning it, doing a terrible job with it. I think all of my uh, stuff must have gotten wet at some point. It's all a bit rusted or oxidized, I guess. That's it with the soldering iron. 
we'll wipe that off. And my black cable, I'll just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so on the Arduino Nano, my black cable, which will be ground, I'll plug it into ground, nice and easy. And my signal cable, it plugs into A3. Nice and easy. Now these two wires will connect to the Digimon device. Over on the Windows laptop now, I do need to download and install the latest version of Arduino. So let's go to Google, type in Arduino. I typed in Arduino, but that's fine. Only required. Software. And it looks like 233 is the latest. I'll download it for Windows 10 and newer. Just download. Just download. While that's downloading, we want to go back to Google, type in DM com space nano. And the top link is dmcom.github.io. This website uh, shows you how to actually make it. There's the schematic that I was following, nice and easy. They used a breadboard. If you're not comfortable with soldering, you could do that as well. And now that's downloaded, I'll just go to install it. I've opened it three times apparently. Now that's installed, we'll finish it and we will let it uh, allow it to open. Okay, I'll just click cancel for this one. I'm not sure if I want to allow the access just yet. It is still installing uh, required stuff in the background, as you can see at the bottom. So while it's doing that, we'll go back to the DMCOM GitHub. We'll scroll down and we do want to get the sketch. So download DMCOM sketch. I was hoping it was just going to download. We have the Nano. We'll go back. It looks like it also works with the Uno, which is uh, the same hardware as the Nano, just bigger, so that's good. I will allow Arduino to install some extra stuff in the background. That's the serial drivers for the Arduino, so we do want that, definitely. Looks like it's just installing all the different uh, serial chips that it generally uses. We'll go back to the DMCOM git. It did say to unzip it, so I'll just go to my downloads. Oh no, it's not zipped at all. That is the file, so that's handy. So we'll open up Arduino. I will just connect the Arduino to my USB, like that. Arduino has not been used in several years, so hopefully it still works. Haven't tried it yet, and I'll plug the other end into the laptop, obviously. A little light turned on. Looks like it's running the blink code, which is good. You do want to make sure those two wires aren't shorting, because it might cause a bit of damage. I will go to Device Manager just to double check the drivers are there. It looks like it didn't uh, install by itself. I'll see if it's it was not there. So I will have to install the driver. Let's go through that together. I'll double check it's not there. No, it's not. So to do this, I'm just going to go right-click Properties, go to Details. Go down to hardware ID, whoops, copy paste that into Google. And it is the CH340. So it's a bit surprising uh, Arduino didn't install that, it's a pretty common chip. Download first one. wrong one. That's finished downloading. I'll see if I can extract it just so I don't have to run any shady installer. Nice, there's the driver. Go back to device manager. Update. 
browse downloads under the folder next and done that's how I install drivers uh, you can install it any way you want to that's just how I've been doing it for forever okay let's go back to Arduino we will open the sketch we downloaded it's under downloads and it was a hex file so it won't let me open it okay I may have downloaded the wrong file so we'll go back to the releases I probably want the source code I'm guessing the hex is, as it says, the raw hex file. And if you wanted to use a just an EEPROM flash, you could probably flash it. So that was my mistake. Go back to downloads. It should be there. It is. Extract it, and hopefully we have an INO in there. We do INO. I could double click on it, but I will open it manually. This is my first time doing this too, so you can follow along with all my mistakes. It was on a DCOM project, DMCOM, there it is there. Annoyingly it opens it in a new window. There it is. Select my board, which was, ooh, it might have been COM5. We can double check that back and uh, device manager. Ports. And it was COM5. And we're using the Nano. Nice and easy. COM5 USB. Okay. That should be it. And let's see if we can verify and upload. So that worked. So let's upload it. Okay, we're back. I did have a few errors, and that was because this is a quite an old Arduino Nano, and I did have to go to uh, processor, change it to the old bootloader. So if you're having an error like that, and yours is an old Arduino Nano, that's why. And all I have to do is upload, and done. We'll go back to the DMCOM Git, and we'll see what to do next. Okay, it says to open serial monitor. So tools, I think it's under, yep, serial monitor. It says send it a T. And we're getting the voltages back 2.8, 3.1, and 2.7 to 3. Close enough, I think it's within spec. So that's all we have to do. That should be it for the Arduino side. Now everything seems to be installed and set up correctly. Let's test our little ACOM device. To do this, we'll just, at the very bottom of the DMCOM uh, Git page that we've been following along, there is a test code, and we will just copy the top one, which is the original battle. So, Control-C, go to Arduino, back to our serial monitor, and I will paste it in there, but I won't press Enter yet, because first, we do want to connect it to our Digimon. So the ground uh, terminal is the one furthest away from the screen, the bottom one, and the data terminal is the top one so I'm just put the ground pin I just wedged it under for now it's a piece of wire it's a bit hard to see because of the monitor in the background and the data pins also sort of resting in there and then I'll go over to battle on the Digimon again you probably can't see it go down to battle there we go I'll go to battle uh, this is the an older code so I'll go down to the other Press go, and then I'll press enter on the uh, serial terminal. And hopefully, there it is. So it's battling. Now I can unplug it. And hopefully you can see it. So 
it's a bit hard to see. But it did work there, it's a lot easier to see. So we missed the battle, but it did work. Now that's set up, there are a few Android apps you can use to battle other people online. Um, there's a bunch of codes that'll let you unlock the rest of the Digimon that you would normally have to connect the two different versions together, but this lets you bypass that. The very bottom of the Git page is another link to Humu Humulos' site. And you just pick your version, for me, 20th, uh, 20th anniversary. And here's all the unlock codes. But you cannot use Serial Terminal for this, you will have to use Alpha Serial, which is a different program. We won't go into that today, but uh, it is available for Windows, I believe Mac, and also Android. And then, it's very similar, you would uh, copy the code, paste it into the terminal, and it would uh, do the feature. So all these codes would unlock these uh, Digimon. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or issues, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.